All right, guys. I am here hanging out with the chickens. Of course, they're in there. I don't know why. They must be afraid of me. <laughs> There's one. Hey, chicky. Well, I guess he's afraid of me. I want to talk to you today about some comments I've been receiving on my chicken videos. Um, how inhumane I've been keeping my chickens in here in this chicken run and that I should be letting them free range and uh, roam around free. Uh, that, I'm, that I'm keeping them in this jail here. Uh, you know, those kind of comments. And I know they're not from my subscribers because um, these are people obviously that either don't know about chickens very, you know, don't know much about chickens at all, uh, or obviously don't have any chickens, or they live in an area where, I don't know, where it's perfect, I guess. I know, you guys can come out now. <laughs> Anyways, I wrote down a few things why I don't free range my chickens and that it's unhealthy for them to free range. Okay? You said it. All right. The f I got about, I don't know, a half dozen or more reasons here why I don't free range my chickens. First is this guy right here. This cute, cuddly, adorable, sweet, loving little raccoon. I know. That's one reason why I don't free range my chickens out here, okay? Uh, they are not out of hand where I live, but I see them a lot around my area. Now, I live in East Texas, so I'm just going to show you some of the predators that are around my area and why I don't free range my chickens, okay? So, coyote, or I'm sorry, the raccoon here is number one. Uh, number two, I would say they're both in the same same league here, the coyote. Um, I have seen coyotes around here. I hear them at night all the time. Um, it wouldn't take much for a coyote to rip into this thing. Really. If you really wanted to, um, but by n at nighttime they're pretty much in here, and this door is shut, and they're all locked in safe. Uh, so, raccoons, coyotes, and then we got the hawks. Okay, I, I was going to put a paddock area out here, as you can see here, and but the problem with that is these trees that you see. All these wonderful trees here are a perfect place for hawks to hang out, wait for the chickens to come out and fly down, swoop them up, and kill them. And so that's out of the question. So, owls. That's another thing. Owls around here, of course, they're pretty much everywhere. And if the owl's big enough, uh, it will come down and, and kill your chicken. Okay, so coyotes, raccoons, hawks, owls. <clears throat> so by land and by air. If I had a sea around here, probably sharks would get them. <laughs> okay, my neighbor, and I had not, a, I had not a clue as to these animals here. Um, up until last week, uh, my neighbor told me that uh, a guy that he knows right in front of my house pretty much across the street um he saw a mountain lion okay now there I, w I wouldn't say as common as a coyote around here but there there are uh mountain lions around here cougars pumas you know whatever you want to call them uh i went online did some research on them they can get in and in and around average to 180 pounds they can be like 160 to two over 200 pounds um, they can be like six to eight feet long okay from head to tail 
That's huge. That's bigger than a dog, okay? Um, a, a cougar, a mountain lion, they will tear anything up, okay, if they really wanted to. Um, but they're kind of rare. Uh, I'm not too worried about them. I'm more, more worried about my dogs than I am my chickens with those cougars. Um, so, but yeah, that's what's around here. And then you had Bob. You interrupted me, you know that. And then we have bobcats, okay. Uh, I have seen them here, um, quite a few actually. So that I am worried about. Um, they can be as big as a small dog. And if you know what a house cat can do to a dog, you can imagine what a bobcat can do, all right. So they will tear chickens apart. <clears throat> a neighbor of mine last year, a neighbor of mine last year got, uh, I think it was five or six chickens. Um, and he free ranged them. They didn't last very long. But I asked him later, I go, what happened to your chickens? I don't hear them anymore. Or I don't see them around or anything. Oh, they got uh, eaten up by predators. So. So, let's see what else here. So we have uh, skunks and possums. Okay. Skunks, uh, I mean, if they have a, a chance to get a chicken, they probably will. Possums too. Uh, possums can, uh, or even raccoons, they can, they can climb. They got little hands, uh, and uh, they can climb up here and try and get into this chicken wire and all that. So, basically, what I'm saying is that's why I keep them in here. That's why I don't free range the chickens because there's just too many predators around here. Um, I try and feed them as much as I can as far as greens and whatever weeds and stuff in you know, my garden. And even at the end of the season, or during the season actually, in my garden, uh, I'll throw whatever waste in here and they just gobble it all up. Um, so, there's not much more I can do, you know. I, you can only do so much. I would love to free range my chickens because yes, they would be healthier, I know that. Um, until they get eaten up by a predator. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that to these chickens, okay? I care for my chickens and I want them to produce good eggs for me. So that's why I don't free range them. You guys want some of this stuff here? Here. So That's why I don't do that. I would love to. Anyways, uh, so those are my reasons. So, to those of you that leave comments like that, think before you leave a comment. You know, I mean, there's a reason why you keep animals pinned up. It's because you don't want to, to get, you don't want them to get hurt. You know, I had this, in my dog kennel over here, um, you know, I showed how I built my dog kennel and that little dog house with the AC unit and the heater in there and everything, you know, they're, they're, they got it made in the shade. <laughs> but people start commenting, and it's kind of my fault, I should have told them that I don't keep them in there all the time. Uh, they comment on how inhumane it is for me to keep them in there all day, they should be running around. Look, if there's any spoiled dogs, it's, they're mine, okay? They run around, they got 20 acres to run around in. They stay in the house with us, they sleep in our bedroom. I have an own, my own, <laughs> I made their own bed for them uh, in our bedroom. Uh, they sleep with us and they stay in the house, they, they do everything with us, okay? The only time I keep them in that dog kennel is when we go out shopping for a few hours. And and we come back home, you know, just for a few hours, maybe once or twice a week, if that. Um, and that's about it, you know. So that's what I've been dealing with, a lot of comments like that. It, it just, it bugs me, you know, it, it irritates me, but, you know, what are you going to do? People are going to be jerks. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this video on my complaining. <laughs> and uh, I, I just wanted to get that out because I, I'm, I'm tired of hearing those comments from people 
And again, I, I don't think they're my subscribers that say things like that. Um, all right, so I appreciate you watching, and I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe to my video. And if you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that will alert you to our next video that comes out. All right? So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Really? Okay. There's more. There's more. Here.